Yes, I think Toy Story is still relevant today. Because if you watch the movie, they have all these classic toys from the past. That little sketch thing and the slinky dog. And they still have those toys today. I think those are classic toys. And I think when they wrote the movie, they did that to appeal to audiences in the past, present, and also the future. So I think there will always be some variation of those toys and people will relate to that. Especially like they remember their own childhood. It's because everyone has a childhood and everyone has, you know, their own... Creativity will never die, and it'll come in many forms, and that's just one form that it happens to be shared with a lot of kids today. What was really unique about Toy Story in regards to the history of the film industry is that um, Pixar, with kicking off Toy Story, um, it was a really, 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 really capable G film. Uh, and at the time, a lot of films were kind of progressing more towards if you wanted to be like a family film and not just like children, like just for babies, you had to be PG. And it was very smart and it was a very accessible script, very relatable characters, well acted. And um, it's kind of, it's actually really interesting because everybody in the Pixar studio was wanting them to uh, go like, you need songs and you need princesses. And they were rejecting that mm -hmm. so hard. So the fact that they were able to stick to it and it was the massive hit that it was, I think it has a 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, I think really goes to show to the quality and the uh, dedication that the filmmakers had. So I would say it's extremely relevant today because it shows, you know, perseverance sticking to your guns. If you think you have a good idea and you do have a good idea and you're good at your craft, if you have a clear vision and you have the skill to actually follow it through, it shows you can do really amazing things. And you don't have to pander to a PG audience. You can be a good kids movie by just being really smart. It was such a unique thing when it first came out and then the second one came out and there are a few more like it. And the third one came out and the entire <laughs> industry was like it. So I think it's pretty cool first full-length film that was computer generated um which is now every animated film um yeah so i think i think they kind of kick-started got that ball rolling but i think also what was really unique about it was um the fact that it it it, it set a bar it set a bar in terms of hey play with the technology and it's really interesting if you actually take a look at what other disney films were doing at the time they were trying to integrate um cgi into their 2d animated stuff mm -hmm. um like the will the beasts in the lion king or a lot of the sweeping i'll use the term crane shot in um hunchback of notre dame you know a lot of those like quasimodo he's skateboarding down the aqueduct and it's a uh it's a computer generated cathedral and it doesn't stand out well, you know, I, or let me rephrase that. It stands out too well. It doesn't blend in at all. You can really tell by really sticking with this and saying, hey, this is what we're going to do because it's smart uh, and because we just want to pursue this. And which was, I think, kind of the mantra of everyone at Pixar, stick to our guns. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to show that this is something that is achieved. So themes and then also family, because um, as far as you can tell, like Andy is his mom is single. I kind of wonder what happened to his dad. Like, is she a widow? Uh, so family just trying to survive. And maybe that was his way of being of staying happy. Like, if his dad did die or they got divorced, he had this special relationship with his toys. Or he was just a normal kid. It's hard to tell. So I think family. Identity and your place in the world. Which I feel like um, for millennials you know for for people in college and for people uh you know just going into college just getting out of college you know for this generation basically 1985 forward um is a bunch of 20 somethings going what am i doing where so, am i going and it's it's really unique i picks our plate to that as a strength because it, it was it, i have this lovely story um, where Pixar, my brother saw Toy Story in theaters. We've seen every Toy Story movie in theaters. And the day we saw Toy Story 3 um, was the day my brother had just finished depersonalizing his room when he was leaving for the Air Force. 
And there's that scene in Toy Story 3 where you walk in and you see Andy's room and his mom looks around and she starts choking up and she's like, and all of us just look at each other in the <laughs> aisle and we start crying. And yeah. like, I feel like Toy Story is still playing to that generation. That is a story that is still being told to this generation. And also coming to terms with the fact that maybe the plan you set out to do, what you thought your purpose was, that was in your bones, and it turns out is completely wrong, or worse, a lie. And then reforging that purpose and using those skills from that last that last purpose that you had and then reforging it into a new purpose that is fulfilling and is able to uh <laughs> like a cloud, you know, it's like you had all the water, it evaporated, your plan is gone, but then it recondenses into a cloud. And so what uh, condensation, I wanted to use the word consolidate, but what I was thinking was condensation. Um, so consolidate into this new being and using those new skills and tactics to try and uh, make the world or yourself or even your community a better place. So I am extremely long-winded and full of hot air. <laughs> I hope that answers your question. Nice.